Jets tonight, Mark, because they're playing without one of their best players. So we'll see how tough they are. We'll see what kind of depth they have. Let's see if they can come out and get this win. And Blair Blair converts. Miller walking it up. Nearly intercepted. The Trailblazers will throw in. Bayless has checked in for the first time. The pass to Howard. Oh, he is fouled on that shot. Not a good play. And Manu and hits both. Dumped it with that change of pace dribble and the bucket. Miller moving it across. Loses the ball. Bayless walks it across. Oh, he loses it. The Blazers will inbound. One second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Good job by Parker. Miller on the spin, and they come up with the turnover. Jefferson was able to swing his way. Miller fires. The first quarter comes to an end. The Spurs lead by four. First quarter, one of the coaches talking about it at this moment. Well, Marv, I thought both teams played it pretty straight defensively in that first quarter. I would look for some adjustments, especially at the defensive end. Maybe some double teams or possibly a little zone. Jefferson with the bounce pass. Now here's the double. Delivery to Jefferson. Unable to hit the three. Aldridge bringing it across. Oh, loses control of the ball here. Ratliff penetrating. Yes. Miller comes across. Pass to Howard, accelerates. Howard able to extend. The Trailblazers keep it alive. And Jawan Howard with a beautiful touch inside. That's demoralizing defensively, Marv. You play solid defense, then you give up the easy putback. Final minute of the second quarter. Spurs up by four. The pass to Duncan. Aldridge for the block shot. A little too aggressive there. As this uh, third quarter gets underway, Steve, what do they have to do in the second half? Well, I think they've got to pound the offensive glass, Marv. They've got to continue to try to find ways to get to the basket and get some easy points. And Andre Miller with his first bucket. Miller is not normally a standstill jump shooter. Marv prefers to dribble into the shot to create rhythm. Parker with the bounce pass. And the field goal. Duncan is two for three from the field. When I watch Tim Duncan, what I love to see because it's a throwback is the way from the tough angle he will go glass. He loves to bank that shot in there. And a lot of that is because his shot is flatter than, than most people's. He doesn't get a lot of arc on it. And because of that, he can use that glass to soften the shot up. Parker walks to the front court. The ball is not loose. And Richard Jefferson blows the layup. Well, they've gained the advantage in this game, Marv, by being very sharp offensively, but that's a lack of focus. You've got to finish that play. One minute remaining in this third quarter. Spurs up by two. Parker in possession. Delivery to Ratliff. Roy able to hustle it down. Another defensive stop. You can feel the momentum changing a little bit here, Marv. And LaMarcus Aldridge able to hit. Well, closing quarters, Marv, is so important. And with this game tied, here's a two-for-one opportunity. They could take the lead. And Richard Jefferson off the mark. 
Last minute remaining in the third. The score is tied. Duncan with the rejection. The Spurs will get it back. Good. Executed their offense beautifully. You take a look at some of these replays, the ball movement, the spacing. All of a sudden, you get open shots from all over the floor. And that's how you end up taking the lead in a game like this. Aldridge with the bounce pass. Oh, that'll be a foul. He was just too aggressive in closing out. And he converts one of two. Parker with the off-balance shot. Three quarters through this game. The Spurs trail by one. Facing on the floor, they've opened up a lot of open shots for their teammates through good ball movement and just basically playing with a lot of good pace to their game. Roy tried the fadeaway and scores. Great defense by Miller. Parker gets space. He fires from downtown. And Richard Jefferson able to knock it down. So that's their first three of the night. We have reached the point. These are all significant possessions. And LaMarcus Aldridge able to lay it home. Mark, where's the defense? You've got to slide your feet, get in front of people defensively. Pass to Duncan. Can't afford those types of shots in a close game, Mark. Every possession counts. You've got to make the defense work. Steve, talk about bad timing. That's not when you want to turn it over. No, costly error there, Mark. If you're trailing, trying to get back into the game, you've got to get a shot every time down the floor. It is deflected. The pass to Howard. Let's it fly. Duncan able to succeed with that box out. Puts it up. Controlled by Howard. Delivery to Miller. Attacks the rim. And Tony Parker called for the foul. That's his first. All right, let's take a look at tonight's performer of the game. And Jared Bayless at the line for the first time. Well, if they're going to close this game out, Mark, they've got to knock down free throws. We've got two big ones coming up here. Duncan ends up with it. Down to 30 seconds to go in the fourth. San Antonio down by three. Fires. A huge bucket. Ideally, you'd like a higher percentage shot attempt, but he still gets it to go. This game has come down to this sequence. Miller with a crossover. Simba got a piece of it, and they turn it over. And a foul is called. to Jefferson. He got a hand on it. Duncan finding the open bag. And this is for the win. Wow, what an incredible shot for the game winner, although they'll have to review it. It appears to be the game winner, but there are the officials over at the scores table, and they will check it out. Did he get it off on time? That's the question. Yes, it is good. It is good. And the game is over. The Spurs takes this one. Final score is 18 to 16. This is Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr saying so long from the AT&T Center.